Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 5. We're with club number 3, Sarah Largo. We got promoted last year, uh, last season. Choked it away down the stretch, losing our final three matches of the season to finish second. Still gaining automatic promotion. Still bitter about that. Uh, we got a lot of transfers to go through, so only expecting one match today. We'll see what the time looks like. But let's get into tr well, let's get into the schedule, I suppose. Uh, we had a 5-0 and a 9-0 victory in friendlies. Uh, we just beat Plaza Colonia 3-0. The Winter Soldier, Emilio Teixeira, and Nicholas Lietes with goals. Uh, all three names that you're familiar with from last season. Once we finally got promoted, and it was a long run, so let's see. If we go back to last year, our season ended September 6th. We did not actually officially get put into the Primera Division until January 1st. So we had three months, and literally, I was looking at trying to sign guys end of contracts, and they were like, no, we don't want to talk to you because you're in this second division. They're like, well, we're automatically promoted, but the game doesn't recognize that. So I don't know if that's a failure or if that's a realistic thing. But anyway, it was a real it was a real thing that I had to deal with. So I was not able to make any moves until January 1st. Friendly started January 11th, and uh, we just started the season on February 1st. So I had 30 days. Uh, the, the transfer window closed just a couple of days. That's why I went ahead and finished that game uh, before, so we, we're coming back for the first round of the Uruguayan Cup. Uh, we're supposed to reach the third round, so this should be a relatively easy game. Three clean sheet shutout victories. Let's look at the transfers. When I went in and looked at the the squad, only the senior club. All right, so you can see now I've got to scroll down a little bit, and you know, let's see, Barrera. So we've got like five extra players from one screen. We were literally up here around Hans was the last player. So our, our squad was decimated. Let a lot of players go. Uh, end of contract, just not good enough for us. So we had to sign, I had to sign a shit ton of players. Uh, I was looking for anybody that could step in and start. I was looking for depth, rotation, I was looking for everything. So let's take a look at the transfers. Uh, we've got 9,000 left, 259,000 in payroll. Uh, payroll is almost uh, 1.35 million. We're gonna be just over a million when we get our final players in, but that won't be till July when we go from the opening stage to the closing stage. And there's a few nuances to this league that I'm gonna have to figure out. So, uh, you know, but we'll, we'll look at all that. So we've got, uh, we've got this guy joining uh, July 1st, uh, Barney. Uh, Herrera's joining uh, September 1st. Uh, we were trying to loan him out. We're actually trying to get rid of him. He's 20, but he plays a position that I don't like uh, or that I don't use, and he rejected a contract. Uh, but let's look at the players coming in. We were the most active cl club with 10 players. So uh, Zospi went out on a free end of contract, uh, 30 years old. I said, take off. Uh, res he was a reserve uh, center back. Uh, Pena uh, went to Bursillis on loan. Okay. Uh, 22 years old. Needs a little bit of seasoning, midfielder, and he's he's right now he's just not ready for the first team. Let's look at our new players coming in. So I like I said, I was just firing all over the board just trying to get players. Uh Bruno Ramirez, uh more he, he's he might play up top. I'm looking at him more as a, a central mid or a winger. Uh probably a winger. I could use another right winger. Uh, he's got decent physicals, pacey, crossing's decent, dribbling, first touch, passing. So with the passing, he can play the, in the midfield. With the crossing and, and stuff, he can play on the wing. So he's going to be uh, he's going to be rotation for us. Lucas Aguiar comes in on a free. He's a right back. Again, he's got some physicals, uh, semi decent crossing, good tackling, um, not great, but depth. 
and he's a backup. You know, he may not, he probably won't play a lot, but I only had two right backs on the squad. And I said, I need somebody that can play just in case somebody dies or gets injured or something. Uh, here's a guy up top. This is uh, Rodrigo Vidal. I didn't like the striker options I had, so he's got some physicals, finishing first touch, heading. Yeah, I'm glad about the heading. He's 5'7". He's not going to head the ball, so that's non-existent. But he can finish. He can have first touch. Uh, he's actually pretty good at dribbling as well, so he could maybe play uh, – play that you know that false nine position uh, even though he's not great at it but uh, he's going to play for us up top a little bit uh, again I was looking for depth Anthony Fowler 26 year old he can play left and right back he's left footed but that's okay uh, good physicals decent crossing marking tackling tackling is really good so I can see him getting in and playing a little bit uh, Nicholas Cabrera, he comes in on a free uh, central mid and that defensive mid, so I can rotate him up or back. Uh, he is a backup. No pace, so probably more the defensive mid. Uh, he's got tackling, passing, marking, first touch. So he can be that distributor, that Calvin Phillips role in, in our attack uh, that, I'm, that I'm set up to play uh, if, if, he, if and when he's on the field. Uh, Jean Lucas Capelli, I'm, I don't know, I have no idea. G I A N Jean J John, I don't think that's Guyan or Guyan. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with, I don't know, Capelli. That's who it is. Uh, same thing, central mid, defensive mid, all backup, decent pace, good first touch. Uh, good passing, so again, I think he can fill in in any of those distribution roles for us as a playmaker. Definitely not a score. Decided I wanted to try to upgrade my keeper, so uh, my first uh, foreign player were allowed, I think, six or five, but he was my first one, so Hans, he's a backup keeper for us. Uh, he might contend for some starting time, but he's got uh, 14 handling, one-on-ones is nine, reflexes is 13. Uh, so, you know, I think he looks pretty solid. Uh, could have better agility, but uh, he's in the mix. I, our number one keeper is on loan, and his loan was up mid-season here in July, July 1st. So we went ahead and extended that through the end of the season. So he's on board, but I went and got Hans just in case. Uh, Fernandez, another right back, very pacey acceleration. He cannot cross the ball. Uh, he might kill himself if he tried to cross the ball, which is bad, but uh, good tackling. He's more of a defensive, but uh, you know he's pretty solid, so he can, uh, he can get into that rotation. Uh, Guillermo Centurion, another free. He's another keeper. Again, I kind of like this kid. He's 23, and um, I think he might be the keeper of the future. Um, he needs a little bit of development and command of area communication. Handling and kicking is real good. One-on-ones is okay. Reflex is passing. All solid. So picked up a couple of decent keepers. Milton Castagna, he was he cost us 12000 He was our last signing. Uh, came up right close to the trade deadline. Uh, we pushed the deal through. He was going to join July 1st. It cost 12000 to pick him up uh, early to go ahead and buy him now. And I said, you know what? He can be that playmaker for us. Uh, he played a 6-8 in the first game, picked up a yellow card, but he's going to probably be our everyday starter. He's our second foreign player from Argentina, so I've got a Brazilian, an Argentinian, and uh, he's got some pace, good first touch, um, passing is solid, penalty taking as well, technique, work rate, vision. Uh, so he can be that central mid you know, playmaker, uh, linking up that defensive mid distribution up to the attacking end of the fee of the uh, field. The only thing that we're really lacking, I just really don't like our striker core. So if you look at Lietti's, he can uh, play both sides, but I really need to play the Winter Soldier out there with Lietti's on the right. He's got Sen Senia can that can back him up. But really, on the left side, we're in trouble there. Lietes would have to slide over and then uh, Cena come up into the starting role. Uh, 
We've added, uh, this is why I built, bought Milton Castagna, because he's going to definitely be a daily starter and every game starter. Uh, Vieira, Britos, all these other guys are just going to be in the mix. Teixeira is going to play that defensive mid right now. Uh, I like this guy, Arsheta. He's 28. Um, he's He hasn't started for us yet, but he scored two goals So in uh, in one of the friendlies. So I like him, and he's he may get into the mix. I'm going to have to play around a little bit. But really, right now, this is it. I mean, we got Andrade up top with 14 finishing. Uh, I think he's going to probably play a good bit. Um, Trasante is going to be, I think those two guys are going to rotate around. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to take him off of loan. Transfer status, uh, no status. Confirm, thank you. Because, yeah, I do need the Winter Soldier out wide. And then uh, Vidal, he's got decent pace finishing. But then, again, he's going to be a guy that we're going to be looking to possibly on the outside for depth as well. So we're a little thin up top. Just couldn't find anybody. I couldn't find any strikers that I could get on freeze. Uh, no wingers. But anyway, let's get into the matches. So let's see. We are home game, 6,200 tickets out of our 9,500 capacity. So I'm hopeful we've got we've got a much increased wage scale from last year. Um, hmm. So and I don't know if this is down. Honestly, don't because we're playing a cup against somebody that we should dominate. One to twenty. Hello. Uh, so let's go into team selection. I am going to pick a, uh, I'm going to go set our team, and then I want to do more rotation. So Ferreira is going to be in, uh, let's see, he, did he start last match? Yes. So I want to start, eh, that's not what I want. I want Hans. I want Hans to start at keeper. Uh, Shetta, uh, let's see. I am going to put Lietis is injured two days. Let's go ahead and rest him in this match, right? Um, okay, here's Milan. Okay, so he is he's on our club. We've got him on loan, I believe. I don't think he's contracted to us. He might be. Yes, he is. No, he's alone. All right, so we've got him on loan, but he's got a future transfer arranged at midseason. So that's what that is. Uh, so I want... Let's give Andrade a start up top. Why not? I want to get some of these young players. This is a cut match that we should dominate. So let's let's play some other guys. All right, pick up where you left off. Let's give them all some, some greenage, especially since a lot of these are young players, uh, new players, what have you. And we are in, okay, I don't like the Bobby Sox, but that's all right. Oh, let me check one thing real quick. Yes, work the ball. Okay, everything saved from last year. That's cool. I was just remembering. I, I, I forgot to check it before the first match. All right, five shots, two on target. Oh, they got a shot. All right, there we go. Cena into Brazil. Vieira. Oh, good ball. Andrade lays it off. Back inside. All right, some good whippage. Oh, oh! All right, the Winter Soldier. Right place, right time. Smart player. Good defense by them, but bounced right to the Winter Soldier, and he put it into the net. 1-0. Early going. All right, Arsheta. Vieira. Ooh, Cena sailed it high. 
He said, you can't see me. All right, a good head down. Nice ball out to Cena. Crossed in. Winner Soldier. Brace. Brilliant header. He's, he's by far our best player. Uh, dominated the uh, fans' choice last year. What was he, 70-something percent? Very nice. If we're up big at half, I'm going to pull him at half just to give him some extra rest. Oh, nice ball. Fowler. Through ball. Oh, look at this. Cena puts the header, flubbed by the keeper, and he follows it in, puts the easy tap. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go to balanced. I am going to go to, uh, let's do some more time wasting. And uh, we're going to take that off and that off. And we're going to drop back a little bit, which I like that anyway. All right, there's a through ball. Colazzo can't get to it. So a bunch of new players to get, get used to this year. Oh, not a good play by the Winter Soldier. Oh, taken down in the box. That's a penalty. The Winter Soldier is going to take the penalty. He's lining up for an early hat trick. And there it is. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull him off. Call off the dogs. Um... We're going to move Andrade outside, and we'll put Milan up top. Give the Winter Soldier the rest of the day off. Good going, fellas. A 9-5. That's just, that's just rubbing it in. We'll praise. All righty. Excellent efforts. Vieira, avoid a booking. I mean, everybody's playing sevens and eights except for the keeper. <laughs> the keeper just can't get a rating. All right. One to 20. That might be the biggest odds I have had. For a oh John John offsides who was offsides oh he, there's no way he was offsides I mean I know those guys were but they didn't even come into play he shot they didn't come into play that's I think that's a bullshit call I think that's a bullshit call they did not affect the play at all they did not obscure the sight of the keeper. Now, if the ball would have come off the keeper and one of those guys would have then played the ball, then yes. But, uh, no, I think that was a horrible call. All right, we're putting the pressure. All right, Vieira, Cena. Lays it off. Fernandez hoops it to the box. Milan can't find the net with the header. Oh, man. You know who I should have had playing this match is that 5-7 forward that we got. Um, is it him? Yes, it is. He can't finish. Oh, he's he's the one I want to play more middle. Um, Vina. Teixeira. Let's put him in. I'm going to put him in for uh, Brazil. What? What? <laughs> What's the problem? Come here. Come here. George having a Having a rough day, it sounds like. Hey, George, what's up, dude? 
And who else? Milton Castagna, he's going to be pretty regular. Bruno Ramirez, he's 22. Let's give him some game time. I don't know if he's going to play a lot. He needs some match fitness as well. Let's go ahead and bring on, put him on for Vieira. Tell everybody hi, George. Say hi, George. <laughs> Well, easy win. I'm going to say we uh, we quit looking good after uh, the Winter Soldier came off, but that's all right. We did call off the dogs. I mean, we put time wasting. We put, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, they're not even trying now. <laughs> That's all right. As long as we get out of this unscathed, nobody hurt. Lump it down. Easy 4 nothing win. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give a second match a shot. Excellent efforts. We'll have the draw here in a minute. If anybody knows what Arashanis means, or if I'm even pronouncing that right, uh, I'd be curious. 37 to 4 on shots. That's crazy. Fowler makes his debut. Winter Soldier. You are superb. All right. We will, uh, well, let's take a look at the draw here in just a second, and then we'll get to River Plate for our second match. Because we're only at 21 minutes. I think we can, you know, video might be a little longer than the norm, but that's okay. You guys don't mind, do you? I hope not. If you do, pause it now. Go do what you got to do and watch the second match a little bit later. You know, like it's on your DVR. We'll be right back for the draw. All right, we're back for the draw here. Second round. All right, let's get to it. Boom. From the second division. All right. Where are we going to be? Uh-oh. Getting close. Maybe. Oh, there we are. All right. Who, so who do we have? Alto Peru, National, uh, Torque, Torque, or the National, or Penarol? All right, so they're from the second division. So that should be another okay win for us. I'm starting to get that double click thing happening with my mouse. Not happy with that. All right, well, let's get to the next match and we'll be right back. All right, we are back for River Plate. Uh, they've got about a 50% sell on their tickets, 3,600. Out of 62, they are slight favorites. Uh, yeah, well, it's a little early to tell if I need to start backing off or not. So we're going to go ahead and put Milan up top, Winter Soldier, Ferreira in goal. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what I'm going with. Pick up where you left off. Good job. Good job. All right, we are uh, we're in the yellow. That's our uh, that's our alternative alternate kit. So that's the third kit. I we don't I don't think I've worn that yet. Not a big fan. Mustard, uh, not even mustard yellow. Kind of a burnt orange yellow. Okay. Let's get creative. Oh, taken down. No no flag. No card. Come on. That looked like a penalty to me. Ooh. Pause it. Pause it. No, we don't want much higher, and I don't want to play the offsides trap. Yeah, we want to do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that much higher line. I know that's supposed to be 
a thing. All right, Barrera comes out. Barrera's dribbling up to the midfield line. But, uh, yeah, I know that's supposed to be a thing in uh, Milan with the touch. Uh, just off sides. Uh, it was a nice, nice thought and a nice ball, but yeah, he just broke. He just broke a step early. All right, push out. Oh my God, he missed the open netter. That was a sitter for him. Whew. Lucky, lucky for us. Oh, our guy just jumped in front of that and stole it. Nice touch. Johnny Pena, get in there. Milan with the assist. Tell him, George, say yes. Get in there. <laughs> oh, Teixeira just came up and stole that ball. That's a criminal offense in 49 of the 50 states here in America. Uh, Martinez, I think Martinez was daydreaming. I don't think he was paying attention to that ball. All right, the Winter Soldier. Oh, just a little outside foot kick. Nice cross ball to Teixeira, wide open. The Winter Soldier with the easy header, but he was off sides. Oh, two goals disallowed in the first half. Was he off sides? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Couldn't really see him at, with that camera angle, but I guess. Man, when you're the last guy looking all the way across the field, you got to know if you're offsides or not. I'm sorry. That was ridiculous. You cannot. You can't do that. All right, we do have a couple of yellow cards. Let's just kind of tone everybody down. One nil. We don't have to dominate games, but remember, we're just newly promoted. Now we were recent, you know, just relegated last season too. So we we were out for one year, basically with our entire club, outside of the guys that we got rid of last year. Um. All right, we are we are piling some yellow cards here, so. I'm going to put uh, Kevin Marrera. But then I'm going to swap him and Vina. And Lietes for, for Andrade. Uh, no, let's seen as our primary backup. Yeah, let's do that. I want to do that. Still only a one goal advantage. All right, uh, get creative again. Pressured. All right, there's Marrera, the short fullback. Pena, oh, right to Leaf. Got to do better putting it away. Lumped out. Oh, Vera just breaks over the top. Beats the keeper. Poor defense that was horrible uh, I got to give him a concentrate on that no that was not good not good Castagna Pena Winter Soldier lumped out to Marrera making a run there's the cross headed uh, Leal with the, it's Leal or Leaf? Leal, L-E-A-L, -E okay. Ariel Leal. Andrade. Andrade is a winger, so I'm going to put him there. We're going to bring the winner soldier up top. See if we can't get a, get a late goal here. Push forward. 
All right. We got a minute. Yeah, nope, we don't. Damn. All right. I'm not happy with that. Shot wise, well, you know what? Shot wise, they had possession. We had three half chances. They had one one of each. Eh, I guess it could have been worse. Could have been worse. Um, yeah, okay. We'll lie to them. Get some greenage. All right, so we go top of the Primera division. Uh, Marrera got the late sub. He's out for a day or two. That's fabulous. Uh, so let's see. Competitions. We've got four points from two and a plus three goal differential with River Plate. So that's who we're tied with. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Look, we're game in hand. Let's finish the day. <laughs> let's finish the day. Let's let's make it look real. Well, we're still a game in hand uh, based above everybody. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Where do we want to come back, guys? Let's play a little stretch. Let's come back for... Um, who is our rival? Because I honestly don't know. They're in the Segunda Division Professional. We're in the Primera Division. So they're in the second tier. Um, Rocha, San Carlos. Yeah, I don't know. None of that means anything to me. All right, well, let's play a handful of matches. Let's come back for uh, Espanol and Alto. Peru, that's uh, the second round match, plus a few, you know, we'll have, you know, a handful of opening stage uh, matches at that point. Tell you what, let's do Peru and Pinarol. Let's do that. And uh, I've already played Wanders. And uh, we'll see where the third stage, third, uh, third round, if we advance. And... Let's take a quick look. Quick look. Uh, competitions, Premier Division. All right, so we have an opening stage. We have a closing stage, right? Then we have an overall table. But then if we look at rules, it's... the bottom three teams from the standings based on average points. So I later in the season, I guess that comes into play, but there is something about average points, but it looked like it was averaging it over two seasons for all the clubs, except for the clubs that had just been promoted like us. And so it was only looking at one season, which made it a little harder, I think, on those new clubs from what I could tell. But anyway, that's one of the uh, that's one of the weird things that I did see at the end of last year when I was trying to get a feel for what we'd be going into. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of our transfers. A lot of filler, a lot of depth. I get it. We do have a few guys that are going to be starting 11. Uh, but I will see you guys back for this uh, Ur uh, Uruguay Cup second round against Alto Peru and Pinarol. See you next time. Bye.